Greetings and thank you for tuning in. This is Sanika, Sanika Arrington, Positivity Queen, Queen of Africa, Drew Hunter, however you know me. But hey, I am here. It is Monday. Happy belated Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. This one is for you. Okay? It's Monday here in the States. The day after Mother Day, Mother's Day. And I'm calling this Melody Music. Mondays, because I'm just finished soaking, doing my me time, you know, on Mondays. I really like to soak and make time for myself. So I decided to come in and share some tea with you that this is just some of my observations of what's going on in the travel industry, because you know I love to travel. So I don't know for what it's worth, but. The travel industry has definitely changed. Before all of this happened, this COVID-19, I don't know if you remember or if you could recall, your airport may have been getting major improvements, innovations, upgrades, and everything was becoming computerized. And a lot of people were wondering, how are they going to get all these senior people out of their jobs? COVID-19, only thing I got to say about COVID-19, whoever, whomever are the masterminds behind this, they are genius. I mean, I want it. <laughs> they are genius. <laughs> For real. I'm just thinking outside of the box. No, I don't have any copyrights to this music. But I just finished taking my bath and I just wanted to share some tea with you about my thoughts on traveling and what how things have changed but really this one is the COVID-19 <laughs> somebody is getting paid they have captured the minds of millions of people and then just infused it with fear you know let me take a minute but let me pause for the pause I'm gonna put on my coconut oil you know? yes I love coconut oil. It makes my skin pop. Let's see. This is the kind I use. Yeah, I'm taking like a commercial break. No, they're not even sponsors. I just love coconut oil. It's good for your skin. And yeah, see? I'm showing you my lashes. See that? Remember I told you earlier about my lashes going natural. This is the, um, this is the actual mascara that I've been using, ladies. It's called Illegal Length. And it brings it out. Because I had nothing. Kermit the Frog here. Kermit the Frog here. This is the lashes. The eyelash that I use. But back to the travel industry. Honey. Right now, when you get on the plane, you are mandated. That means you cannot get on, on the flight if you don't have on a mask. Girl, it's crazy. It is crazy, honey. You cannot board the aircraft unless you have. On the map, they are really pushing this COVID-19 thing. And a lot of the airports, a lot of the major airlines, and a lot of airlines had to sell, sell, um, sell out to the government. They took those, and you say, how did they sell out? They had to take those, they took those loans, got all that extra money for their company and businesses. And now they had to sell out the employees. This is just my take. I'm not saying this is factual, but you do your own investigation and your own tea. And once they took all those buyouts, they have to abide now, abide by whatever the government's saying. These are the now the new rules that your company has to abide by whenever people are traveling on your your company or entering into your stores. A lot of our rights have been taken. Away. So if you don't have a mask, no, you can't board. And remember when I used to joke around and say, get your passport. Make sure you have a passport. If you don't have a passport, you're going to be assed out. <sighs> Honey, it is about to go down. Remember how I used to joke about when Trump wanted to build his wall, excuse me, to keep foreigners out? Honey, the walls was built. I used to always say those walls was to keep us in. I was just thinking about Ghana and Africa itself because you know I love Ghana. You know I love Africa. And we were just kicking it. And um, we found out that 
Ghana made nine billion dollars in one year. You know how many blacks was traveling? I mean, and not just traveling, they were like diamond medallions, getting money for big status. A lot of blacks was making at least a hundred thousand dollars a year plus easily. A lot. Like I'm not just speaking about black people. A lot of people was not just black, but particularly I'm speaking to my, my brothers and sisters. They was just getting it in. Cause a lot of people think we at the bottom of the totem, but so many black people was traveling this past year. It's absolutely unbelievable, and not just traveling. They was traveling first class, business, all of that. But Ghana generated nine billion dollars. Due to the African diaspora. I mean, a lot of African Americans was going home. A lot of people worldwide was going back to Africa. Particularly Ghana. Just think about that for a moment. And then one moment of pandemic, they shut it down. Nobody can fly. Nobody can travel, see the world. People wanted to leave America and invest in Africa and buy land and buy it up. Because so many Asians was in Africa buying up the place. Because Africa has everything. Whether you know it or not, any and everything you want, you're going to find it in the continent of Africa. It's the mother. She feeds the world. And... um once you know we was going home, the chakras was being awakened and ancestors was coming through and helping people out. I'm not saying, well, I, well, I'm going to say this, but I am saying a lot of people was going home and they shut it down. They shut it down. So, now we were wondering when you would travel or when I was wondering when I would travel so many inner cities in the United States, a lot of the airports were being remodeled and getting improvements and innovations. And if you notice on the billboards, there wasn't a lot of workers. And we used to joke and tease at the airport. How would they get rid of all the workers? Do you know so many airline people were willing to just give up their jobs? They literally gave up their jobs. They didn't even have to, the airlines didn't even have to come up with a package to say, Let's offer the X, Y, Z, see how many people are going to take. Because they knew all these seniors wanted to get out. But they literally just gave away their jobs. I don't know. But I used to joke and tease and say, Master going to have to kick me out. <laughs> but um, anyway, no. A lot of people just let go of their jobs. Now there may be different protocols to what you can um, abide by when you come back. I know when you do travel, particularly in Atlanta, the United States, the airport itself has changed dramatically. You like you basically checking yourself in. It's less agents there checking you in, practically none. Um, you're boarding the planes with the masks. Soon they're gonna have it where you're able to board the planes without people. <laughs> And now that I was thinking about when I used to travel to Vietnam, so I, I was in a lot of Asian countries this past year, and they had they already were up to having the um, artificial intelligence checking us in. We was in was it Vietnam or Singapore? I think it was Singapore. They had robots checking you in. Check out one of my videos. It was a, with uh, I think it's called Queen of Africa checking in with Astar. It's this robot and it checks you in. So, um, yeah, but here in the States, in Atlanta Airport, Hartsville Jackson Airport, majority, there are no workers there. It's predominantly self-service, <laughs> almost. That's, that's the goal, is self-service. That is the final goal. Um, another thing, as far as for the employees, um, they're taking your temperatures when you come into work and stuff. Yes, check your temperature. <laughs> To see if you got a fever. And then another funny thing that I'm finding is, um, if, for, for example, in the state of Georgia, they lifted the ban and you're able to, you know, you're not under quarantine or home, home arrest, <laughs> lockdown. Um, so you're able to um, go out. My question is, so if you're able to go out, 
the ear is supposed to be fine now. Why would they want you to go out if the ear wasn't fine? And if the ear wasn't fine, then why you still want us to wear the mask? Why are you putting all these other stipulations on us and stuff? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. They have some like, oh, no, you got to wear the mask just in case you sick. I'm not sick. My immune is fine. Like, I mean, I don't know. Even when I was in Walmart, it was so weird because a lady sneezed and nobody wanted to say bless you to her. They, everybody looked at her like, like, what's wrong with her? Like, you can't even sneeze anymore. This is unbelievable how I think this was genius, whoever created this. COVID-19, like, I want to get in, I'm so serious, like, I'm thinking outside of the box, I know, I know you, if you're watching this video, you're probably saying, this girl's crazy and I'm rambling, but hey, this is just my observation, you have yours, this is mine, and this is my observation with some wine and a strawberry, but, um, yeah, it's so much happening, you don't have a passport, that's all changed, the way they got you, the, the way they're going to be having you flying, if you're flying, they don't want no middle seats. You can't. All the social distancing. and It's just, ugh, we are truly going into a whole new era. They just took away so many of our rights. So many of our rights have been just taken away. And people willingly gave up their jobs. I get it. I, I never liked to work either. When I grew up, I used to tell my mom, Mom, why do people have to work? But now when you go back to the business, you're going to have to either be I wonder if they're going to make you be vaccinated. You have to get checked. What? Whatever. I don't know what's about to happen, but everything that they share with us on the TV, I don't watch really TV, but there's more to it. Even when you're walking through the airport, that's another thing with all this in innovations. They already was aware of what was about to go out down. They have all of these, um, when you go from terminal to terminal, these sanctions up saying social distance, you got to stand this X, Y, and Z on a platform and it's crazy. It's really crazy. But whoever created this, whoever the masterminds behind this, they got paid. I'm telling you. It's just like a pilot told me. I don't know if I just said this or not. But uh, a pilot told me, it was like, this happens every 10 years. Those that are able to um, stay afloat, they make it through. They, they keep their jobs, keep their business going. They making all that money. They making plans. They doing investments. And then a lot of people, it was 9-11, the stock market fell, foreclosure home. A lot of people, you know, fell to going back, like, a lot of um, underprivileged, middle class, and poverty, people of poverty. You know, you get caught on welfare, you get caught in just a system, you get caught in making a certain amount of money, and you become lazy, and... You just don't care. You don't want to be creative. You don't want to think about creating your own business. And those that are still thinking that, they get paid. It's money to be made. And it's not so much about the money, but a lot of our um, privacy has been taken away. A lot of our privileges and rights have been taken away. So I'm just rambling with some, I'm calling this what? Melody, <laughs> Melody Monday. <laughs> And just sharing some good music, my observation of what's going on in this travel industry, and I don't know, I don't know. But brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. Really, I know you probably saying this girl is a mess. This woman is a mess. But yeah, I'm here. I took my sh my little bath time. I brought you the jewels. Brought you sharing my tea. Mm hmm. Sharing my tea and my music, and um, I don't know. I hope you, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. What your perspective of all this is? I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm just telling you what I see. That's what I see, and it is truly not the same. Energy don't even feel the same, but. To each his own. To each his own. To each his own. I'm, I'm thankful for life, you know. I'm doing well. I'm looking forward to going back to Africa. You know, I'm looking forward to hitting the Caribbean. Mm. I know it's a whole new ball game. A 
whole new entire ball game. A new, a new ball game. You ready? You ready to get out and travel? Get out and travel. <laughs> do like, please share, and do comment, okay? Thank you so much. This was Sinika telling you to be amazing. Travel. The world is yours. Thanks for tuning in.